Hello dear students, in today's class we are going to discuss fifth chapter that is organizing. From this chapter you will get 8 mark question, you will not get 4 mark question from this particular chapter. So we are going to discuss only 8 mark questions and in next videos, in next week I am going to start with 1 mark and 2 mark questions also. So first of all we will discuss all the 3 important 8 mark questions from this chapter. So first of all, what do you mean by organizing? Again in 1 mark and 2 mark, I will tell you the meaning. But to understand, what do you mean by organizing? Translation of plans into actions. While explaining the functions of planning. Planning in a function will be explained. I will tell you the meaning of this. Organizing is the meaning now, when you plan, plan and action gadaagi convert the organizing. Translation of plans into translation of plans into what? Actions. Means what? You are having the plan. What is your plan? To score good marks in your examination or get 95 marks in your particular subject. But when you are not converting or translating that into action, there is no use of that particular plan or there is no value for your plan. New matter of the plan and action clearly by the lies of the head organizing. It was a simple meaning. You wish to input called organizing is translation of plans into actions. So, either a month for eight marks a question, but what are the importance of organizing? Well, modally point in the benefits of specialization. Organizing Madhodrinda. With the help of organizing, we can get the benefit of specialization. What do you mean by specialization? Specialization means assigning the particular task to a particular person who uh, the person who is having the specific qualities or specialization to do that particular work. See, in specialization of work, what we do? We assign or we delegate, delegate the actions or the work to be done to a specific person. Uh, means what? If you are having five workers, you will specifically tell person A to do this work, person B to do this work. Illi specialization, benefits of specialization and the inhere, specialization in a one the use and the upayoga vana not all bodu, either in the sangatisuke in the organizing in the he in a hedidaga, name is a specialization in the artha gotirbeku alba. You should know the meaning of specialization. Specialization re, one the udhana health is in the period. Ivaga, name of college nali, prithium to subject take a very very teacher sir. Now, the name commerce subject calls on the teachers English language calls thara illa. English language calls or Hindi calls thara illa. They are specialized in that particular language or that particular subject. That's why they are teaching you in an effective manner. If uh, government school is first to fourth, uh, subject is easy, you can assign all the subjects to the subject. Now, you can do the specialization of the but you can't do it. Now, school is the government school. So, the first standard is the teacher, and the subject is the first standard. Sorry. If you look at the teacher, the teacher is the first is it possible to follow that same method in colleges? Colleges are follow maadu boda. Obre teacher, PUC first study ki obre teacher and avre English ho paata maadu beko, Hindi ho paata maadu beko. Now the business study, statistics, accountancy. Is it possible? No. Specialization in the now yava ka use to bolbo the vedi. When we are having a proper organizing, organizing itta aga, sangati suvike itta aga, specialization in the use and now to bolbo do. Ha gaadre. It helps in benefits of specialization. It helps. Organizing helps in taking the benefits of specialization. So what do you mean by specialization here? Systematic allocation of job amongst the workforce. Specialization means what? Systematic allocation of work among the workforce. Means what? In your college, five teachers are there. One particular teacher, he or she is taking the business studies and he may be taking accountancy also along with business studies. But English teacher cannot take Hindi subject, Hindi teacher cannot take English like this. Means what? 
your college or school is appointing or recruiting the people workforce according to the specialization so what happens here systematic allocation of job among the workforce you know in the bit kobeko illi benefits of specialization anta bandaga now work anna kelasavanna systematic aagi ondu ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಂಚಿಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಹಂಚಿಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಯಾವ ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅವರ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ಹಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಏನು ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿ ಈಗ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಟೀಚರು ಒಂದೇ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಕಲಿಸೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವರು ಆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಲಿಸುವಂತ ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಬಗೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕಂಡುಹಿಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೇ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ನೀವು ಬಾರಿ ಬಾರಿ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಆ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತೀರಾ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ to improve the performance so what is the use of the specialization because of organizing the specialization benefits can be uh, given or specialization benefits can be enjoyed by that particular organization how repeatedly when a particular person it may be production also no day vaga you know that there are and i'm gonna but they ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಮಗ್ಗಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕೈ ಮಗ್ಗ ಅಂತೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇವಾಗ ಇವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಷಿನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಮಷಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಬಟನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹಚ್ಚೋ ಕೆಲಸ ಒಂದು ಶರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಬಟನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹಚ್ಚೋ ಕೆಲಸ ಒಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಲಾಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹಚ್ಚೋ ಕೆಲಸ ಒಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಲಾಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಸೇವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ because of that adhe kelasavana repeated aagi madidaga avrige adralli ondu avara naipunya athava avara kaushalya hechagutte anta okay doing the same work repeatedly enhances the productivity and reduces the work work load idinda work load kadme agutte nanna taleyalli ivaga en irutte heli i have to do this work only i will think about my subject only if i am taking more uh, four more subjects along with my subject then i will be having work load that will uh, then i cannot give 100% to any work new nalku kelsavanna ottige maartta irbekadre ondu kelsavanna ni perfect aagi maadakke saadhya illa so organizing and then sangathisuvike inda en maartare sangathisuvike alli specialization work anna specific persons ge allot maadirtare adrinda enagutte andre work load kadame agutte repeated aagi vande work maadodrinda productivity jaasti agutte avara naipunya athwa their productivity increases and another thing what do you mean by specialization means what allocating the work amongst the workforce uh, according to their qualification and their work experience also okay then second one what is the second point we have completed first point second one clarity in working relationships see when we are working in a formal organization so the formal organization the you know, family annodu nen heli informal organization informal agi naavu blood relation inda naavu obri obri sambandhisirtheve namma akka namma anna namma thai tande ee rite andre nu kelsa maartiruvanta organization alli yaru nimge informal agi connect agirala avru ondu work relation alli nimge connect agirtare they are connected or related to you in a formal way okay in such situation you should know what is the work relation andre who is your boss and who is your subordinate howda nimma boss yaru nimma subordinate yaru anta nimge gottirbeku aagle kelasavanna naavu maadalu sadhya anta kelasavanna vandu nirvigna reetiyalli fulfill maadkonnodakke to complete that particular work in a specific way and to achieve the end goals you need to know the work relations what do you mean by work relations here who is your boss and who is your subordinate okay ee rithi nan bitkolbeku ivaga if i am working in a college as a lecturer or if i am working in a factory as a worker or employee i should know who is my boss and who is my subordinate means what from whom i should receive the orders and to whom i should pass on the orders like this okay so what is this clarity in working relationships organizing helps in clarity in 
ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ನನಗೆ ಯಾರ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಮುಂದಿನ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಹಂಚಿಕೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಟು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಹೂ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾರ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ನೀವು ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಯ್ತಪ್ಪ ಇವಾಗ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕೆಲಸ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಹೂಮ್ ಯಾರು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಿ ನನಗೆ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಕೆಲಸ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹೂ ಮೈ ಶುಡ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ಅ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೇಸಿ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇರ್ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ನೆನ್ಪಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಹೇಳಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಬಾರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಬಾರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ because of that what happens because of that there is no confusion in communication you know from whom you should receive the orders and whom you should report okay then easy to fix the responsibilities in a hierarchical order and what and he he is or her authorities see when you know the working relationships where there is a hierarchy hierarchy and then here ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಮಬದ್ಧವಾದ ಒಂದು ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೆರಾರ್ಕಿ ಒಂದು ಅದರ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಹೆರಾರ್ಕಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹೆರಾರ್ಕಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಸಬಾರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಗಳು ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯಗಳು ಪಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಗಳನ್ನ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು how to fix the responsibilities because of organizing sangatisuvike irodrinda yava riti naavu organize maadi responsibilities anna kodbeku ade riti authority avarige yava riti adhikaravannu kodbeku iga nanna boss hatra eno adhikaragalide hage eno avara hatra responsibilities ide avarige kartavyagalu enide hage nanna hatra eno kartavya ide nanna hatra eno jawabdari ide idr bage clarity irutte yavaga heli organizing namge gottiddaga okay because of organizing there is a clarity in working relationships this will help in fixing the authority and responsibility and you know to whom you should report and from whom you should receive the orders and to whom you should dele- uh, delegate the responsibilities yarige neevu pass on maartira anodu neevu gottirutte okay third one is optimum utilization of resources see what do you mean by optimum utilization of resources means what you have resources in organization it may be in the form of raw material it may be in the form of finance it may be in the form of human resource okay three type of important resources are there in your organization which are those one is material okay the raw material which you are using to produce the goods and second one is what second one is finance finance is used to purchase all the raw materials as well as to pay workers and charges everything okay and third one is what third one is your human resource most important resource of your organization ಮೂರು ಥರದ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕಚ್ಚಾ ವಸ್ತುಗಳು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಹಣಕಾಸು ಮೂರನೆಯದು ಮಾನವ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹೌದಾ ಅದನ್ನ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮಮ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಇಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ವಿದೌಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಂಘಟಿಸಿದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಗಳೇನೋ ಸಿಕ್ಕಾಪಟ್ಟೆ ಇದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಯೂಸ್
uh, energy as well as your time in a proper way. How done? You want the proper way and you want to use Martaila. Adikin and Bekuna Hedi, optimum utilization of resources new Martaila. Ade new, correct Agi Sangati Sikondre, organized Agi there. E time in a Nidan Martin, E time in a Dana Martin and Roman Nidre, Aga in Agatari, Agatandin Tane, Kerasabus, Rudi Tagate. So, organizing optimum utilization of resources. So, what happens here in optimum utilization of resources? See, I have told you three types of resources are there. Which are those three types of resources? One is money, one is material and one is manpower. So, when you are organizing the things, you are planning everything, then what you will do? You will come to know that what to do and what not to do. What is important here? What to do and what not to do. In the mad beko in the mad bardo. Adanari Mukotanaga. Andre, e kelasavana mad beka. Ilina workers and na name a mad beka. I have to uh, use this resource for this particular work or not. Is this worthy? Okay, that is the uh, decision making here. When you are taking such decisions, you will come to know the optimal utilization of resources. One thing you have to remember here. What do you mean by optimal utilization of resources? Maximum output with minimum input. Okay. It may be in the form of workers. It may be in the form of raw material or time, money, anything. Okay. Organize helps in this particular decision. Then adoption to change. What is that? Adoption to change. Tell me what do you mean by change and what do you mean by adoption to change? Tell me. What do you mean by adoption to change? What do you mean by adoption to change here? Adoption to change is nothing but business is performing its activities in an environment which is changing every day. Yes or no? Every day new fashion is coming, new technology is coming, every day the uh, business environment is changing. I have explained in detail in business environment chapter. Yes or no? Now, when the business environment is changing, there is a need to change the business also. Yes, otherwise you will be thrown out of the market. You will not stand in that line of competition if you are not ready to adopt the change. New Badalavani in a Swikara Madhu Manasithi and Riatva competition for worship new strong Ilantanre market in the Nimana or a good lagate. Hagare, we organizing Sangati Suviki and Nudu Yavariti Namge help Madate. How this organizing helps in adoption to change. See, first of all, now Nodi Kagiravinandre accommodate changes in the bee suitable modification and possible as per the requirement. See, first of all, when the environment changes, you, you should be ready to change. Organizing in the ena gathendre, baruanta changes sanna, now namurage changes madkodake help madate. Organizing. Organizing helps to change as per the changing environment. Second one is what? If there is a change in the market, if there is a change in the environment, you have to change the structure also. Structure na change maadu veku. Adan na maadu kodakke, nimge sangati suvike ennu du help maadu te. Structure li changes andre in hedi. Ivaga nanu formal matte informal organization andre hedi ni. Formal organization andre nani me class starting ala hedi te. Niu workplace ala iru vantha ha. One du structure. A formal organization ni bere bere tarna da organization andre te. Line. And there are the structure organization. There are the other changes. Adaga now normally changes. Okay, when there is a change in the market, we have to change ourselves. Okay, that is called as adoption to change. Effective administration. Administration. What do you mean by administration? Administration means managing the things or controlling the things or directing the things in a proper way. So, what is the link between organizing and this particular administration? See, when you are administrating, administration is a difficult work. Yes or no? When you are administrating, administration is a difficult work. Then, how it helps in 
Uh, how the organizing helps in administration? First of all, organizing provides clear description of jobs and related duties. There is no duplication or confusion. So, administration is easy. See, if you are a manager of an organization or CEO of an organization, if there is no clarity in duties and roles of each and every worker, how would you manage? What is the meaning of this? You are the organization and work manager. Ali Yava employees Ibu, Tamma Kelsa Inu, Tamma work in on the Gotilla, Aga manage Modu Tumba Kashta, Adre, Sangati Suvike, the organizing on the function in the Yanagate, every worker knows his or her uh, work. Yes, every worker knows his or her work. Work Gotiro in the Yanagatanre. Avru, tamma tamma responsibilities are correct tagi perform martitare. They are performing their work in an effective way. So, as a manager, there is no confusion or there is no difficulty in managing and there is no duplication of work. Ivaga, nanagi and a work in the gotu. For example, if two teachers are teaching same subject, okay, if two teachers are uh, teaching accountancy only, then they will. Uh, bifurcate or they will divide the chapters into two parts and they will take different different chapters one teacher will uh, one teacher will teach you a particular chapter and different teacher will uh, teach you different chapter both are not teaching you same chapters yes or no there is no duplication of work because of organizing that will save the energy okay that will save the resources also yes Duplication of work in la. Adhikke na virantivi. Administration andre aadhaita. How the administration is easy here because each and every worker knows his or her work and they are doing it in a perfect way and there is no duplication, there is no wastage of resources. Then, sixth one is what? Development of personnel. What do you mean by personnel here? Personnel is nothing but human resource. Human resource is called as personnel. Okay. When you are doing jobs in a systematic way, it will improve you in your professional as well as personal life. Yes or no, when you are doing the work in a systematic way, you are doing same work every day, you will become expert in that. That's why organizing helps in development of personal also. Okay, reduces the workload because of Delegation results in enhancing the creativity of managers. See here, I have told you, every person is doing his own responsible work only. They are not doing extra work here. They are not getting extra responsibility. So, they will get extra time also. After finishing their work, they will get extra time. Or some, uh, what we can say, some spare time they can get. Oh, the extra time of is that the managers in Marbodu, they can think about the development of the company or enhancement of the company. Okay, it gives them time to explore new ideas. It will help them to explore new ideas because there is a reduction of workload because of delegation of authority. Okay, next one, expansion and growth. See, when there is a time to think new ideas. If managers have a time, they ideas think about it. expansion. company business How we can grow, how we can increase the sale, how we can enter into a new uh, field we can say. Yes? That is called as diversification. If you are into the petroleum business today, you can enter into a clothing business or other food, uh, processed food business like this. New diversifications you can think and on, this, uh, uh, on the other hand, you can think about the growth also. Like this, organizing helps in, uh, organizing helps the companies in these seven ways. See, when they ask question for eight marks, and only 7 points are there in your book or in your notes. 
One mark is for introduction. You have to write the introduction. What you have to write in introduction? Just write the meaning of organizing. End to marks a question kottaga, points yul idaga. Atwa R points idaga, yerud atwa one marks so introduction a meaning yerate. Introduction ta ha kerina, bari beku. Okay? So in, uh, to conclude, I will say benefits of specialization. First of all, organizing helps in. The deciding the work or delegation or we are distributing the work to particular person based on their specialization. Okay, it will help the organization to achieve its goal in a, a, a better manner because when a person is doing the same work repeatedly, he will become perfect in that. It will increase his productivity also. Second one, clarity in working relations means who is boss and who is subordinate, whom I should report. Okay, third one, optimum utilization of resources. See here resources are used in optimum way. Men, machine, money or we can say uh, the finance, human resource as well as raw materials. Okay. All are used in a specific way. Why? Because there is a clarity. There is no duplication of work. There is no wastage of time. There is no wastage of finance also. The next one, adoption to change means what? They are ready to adopt the change in changing environment. Then, effective administration means what? When each and every employee in the organization knows his or her responsibilities, he or she knows that whom I should report, who is my boss, who is my subordinate, then administration becomes easy. Okay? Then development of personnel means what? Human resource can be developed here. Why? Because they know their authorities and responsibilities. They are doing their work in an effective way. That's why they are getting extra time to think about the growth, new ideas. Okay? That's why they are having the creative minds. Then expansion and growth. What do you mean by expansion and growth? Growth means uh, you have to increase the sales in the same business. And expansion means what? You are entering into new areas of business. When it is possible, it is possible that the development of personal managers have extra time to think about it and they have new ideas. So in this way, we can uh, write 7 points. These points are very good. Points are very good in the introduction. You have 1 mark for the introduction also. Okay? So in this way, you have to explain. Thank you my dear students. You have to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much.